This nerve block is performed at the level of the cords of the brachial plexus. The plexus at this point is maximally bunched together, but unlike the plexus at other points, the infraclavicular plexus lies within a capacious compartment, meaning millimeter scale precision needle placement is not needed. Secondly, drugs injected onto any cord spreads readily to reach each other cord. The infraclavicular space lies chordate to the clavicle and lateral to the chest. On this horizontal section through the infraclavicular space, see the brachial plexus lying in proximity to the artery. With ultrasound guidance, the subclavian artery is the primary easily identified visual target. The infraclavicular block can be complete after even a single injection onto any cord. The very fastest infraclavicular block onset is achieved with a three cord injection at the 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock positions about the artery. The, the clavicle runs like this and it's concave facing anterior on the lateral side. This here is the acromion. The ball of the humerus sits like this and the coracoid process is going to sit just there and we do the infraclavicular block in this little axis. And the needle will insert from here, very close to bone. This is the cephalic end. The clavicle is just off picture over here. Uh, this deep darkness here is the subscapular muscle. Well, over here will be the subclavian vein. But our main structure we're looking at is the subclavian artery. This is pectoralis major, pectoralis minor. Our needle's going to descend from up here at about 45 degrees towards here. Now I rock the needle, it helps me see the needle. If, the, if they're a little bit steeper, and I'm pushing in here to 9 o'clock, we're going through lateral cord. I'm looking for posterior cord. Deltoid, okay. You want to switch off nerve stimulator? So where the tip of that needle is now, I'm touching the posterior cord. I'm going to now advance the needle to 6 o'clock, just under the artery. See the hand supinate, indicating medial cord stimulation. See the brachioradialis muscle twist, indicating posterior cord stimulation. Okay, he's supposed to record all the way. I'm now going to come back and find the lateral cord. And there's my biceps twitch.